very good one to be discussed. So Ruth, Grace, you talked about these board members who now walk in with trousers that are dropped, shirts that are turned you know, up, and that's the new board. Ruth, the debate is on, uh, the debate on whether or not to have a Gen Y or Gen Z representative. The Gen Zs are the iBabies. They like iPhones, iPads, iCloud. They, they don't do memos. They don't do meetings like this. It's I all the way. There's a debate to have representatives on every board. And this continues to rage on. Please share your view whether this should happen or not and why. Um, thank you, Rachel. I think if we appreciate that, the future requires inclusion. I think inclusion is going to be critical. Diversity, equity, and inclusion. Hmm? The day thing. Especially, for example, in, in the digitization world. Board members that won't have young people might, might, might be challenged. It may be uh, imperative that you bring in young, how the market dynamics play out. And sometimes those young people can have uh, such a bearing on, on maybe product development or whatever. Now, you may say they, do not, they don't need to be in the board. They could be on committees. But if I share the experience of, for example, Special Olympics, it is a requirement because we are dealing with athletes. Yes, they are intellectually dis uh, disabled, but it is a requirement that I must have at least two young athletes on my board, one a, a fe female and a male. But they must be young and just bring their youthfulness uh, to the board. Remember, we use games. So as at, at my age, I, I probably am not as creative at playing or at uh, thinking of which games will attract uh, uh, young, much younger people to the field uh, as, as, as uh, our athletes. So uh, depending on your space, it may be an imperative that, yes, you bring in much younger people uh, for you to, to, to drive your purpose or to drive your, your agenda. So for me, I'm open-minded when it comes to that. I'm open-minded when it comes to that. But I wanted to, uh, to add two, three elements to uh, uh, the, uh, the question that um, uh, Grace, Grace uh, talked about. In addition to brand and, and, and all the other elements, I thought capital is, is a big issue. There are many companies that are struggling to raise capital. You know, Grace doesn't have it as a problem because he has grown swimming in capital. So it's yes. so he didn't come up. <laughs> didn't come up. Yes. So he's not familiar with lack of capital. Yes. But now let me bring the perspective of those eh, that are always eh, hustling to, 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 to raise capital. Yes. So there are many SME boards that are really looking to, 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 to raise capital. But then, of course, then they must know that the agenda or the new agenda, the global agenda requires that as a corporation, you be needing to do good business. What is that thing? Do well, do good as a, as a corporation, as a company to attract capital. In fact, it is said that um, you should uh, build your business on principles that allow for your company to thrive, the society to thrive, the planet to thrive, and you make money profitably, but without causing any problem. So you make profit, but do not cause any problem out of making that profit. So there are those companies that are making good money, but in the end, they are also causing problems. Maybe they are making us sick, or they are uh, uh, um, uh, uh, disposing waste into the rivers and all that. So you have to have that check that as you're profitable, you're not compounding any of our problems as, as, as a people on the planet. So capital, yes. And then the other one is data analytics. Um, where the boards are, are heading, you're going to, and that's why then maybe young people are come, should come into your boards, because um, if you don't have your data in place, how are you going to inform your decisions? What are your numbers? What are your metrics? Who is monitoring your, your numbers? So I think for me, uh, um, d uh, data analytics is a, is a big issue. And then the third one is intangible assets. The future of, of many of these young companies or growing companies, they don't have plant equipment. You see those yeah, in those uh, financials. Plant equipment, what yes. is eh? yes. heavy things. These guys are looking at patents, eh? uh, uh, intellectual property. Yes. So, so you see the difference in new, in new companies and in new boards. So for me, those are the three, three other differentiating or three other things that boards would be thinking about. Yes. Interesting. Thank you.